All right, ladies and gents, here we are on step four of the Barracuda Pulse Induction Metal Detector Project. Um, it's building the transmit circuit, and here's just a little shot of the build document. You can see here that for this step, you already need to have made a, uh, a coil. So the coil should typically be measured anywhere between 300 and 500 micro henries. Um, here's the components that you need to populate on the board. Best practice is to check the components prior to soldering them in. Make sure that they're of the uh, correct size and what have you. And one other thing that I wanted to show you before we get into the actual video is a picture. Okay, guys, uh, step four of the Barracuda Pulse Induction DIY kit is all the components here. Got a 1,000 microfarad capacitor, 1K ohm resistor, 100 nanofarad capacitor, 150 ohm resistor, 33K resistor, 2N2222 transistor, and we've got an IRF9640 MOSFET, and my little connector here for the uh, coil. And I'm going to go and test these all out, and populate the board and we'll be back okay guys uh, continuing on with step four of the Barracuda project we're working on the transmit circuit so you can see the uh, what we've placed for components on the board essentially in this area we've got the MOSFET got the coil connector I have the coil hooked up with a, uh, a, a a variable damping resistor which I'll show you in just a second um, so we're ready to fire this thing off and take a look at the flyback signal okay guys uh, energize the circuit take a look at the flyback signal there we go that's we've got uh, 50 volts here we're at 100 microseconds um you got approximately 200 volts on the flyback give or take okay and so that's what you should be looking at uh i think the only other thing to show you would be the what I have set up for the variable resistor um, let me focus on that and I'll let you have a look okay so this is the uh, variable resistor set up to use so you can figure out what your damping resistor should be um, <clears throat> you tweak this until the signal looks good on the scope and disconnect it from the circuit and measure it out see what you have so that's it for step four guys on to the next one as I was saying uh, one other thing that I wanted to show you before we get into the actual video of the uh, PCB and and components is a shot of this um, adjustable damping resistor circuit and I've already shown what my actual one looks like, but here's here's the little diagram here. Very easy to build. You just need a 10K pot, a 200 ohm resistor, and a 2K resistor. And you put it parallel to the coil, as it says, and it gives you these this range of values between approximately 118 ohms and uh, 1672 ohms 
So a very handy and easy circuit to build. All right, guys, still on step four. And one thing that I neglected to do previously was to uh, show you how you can see that the transmit circuit is working properly if you do not have an oscilloscope. Obviously, I have an oscilloscope, and, and you can see the flyback voltage here on my screen. But if you have a high impedance speaker, um, you can take your, your coil right here and you can put it up against the coil and hear a high-pitched uh, sound. I'm not sure if you can hear that. Maybe not, but I can hear it. It's not very loud. So just just a, a high pitch sound, and that way you know your transmit circuit's working if you don't have the oscilloscope. Thanks.